Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope this will go up. I'm thinking my seven days of punishment are over. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I should have coded that other one better than I did. <laughs> or whatever you call it. Anyway, this is a message from the Lord through Julie Wedby. And y'all are going to want to hear this. I mean, if this doesn't convince you that she's hearing from the Lord I don't know what will I mean I just feel I got it through um grafted in team Jesus it was on my phone in bubble I don't know if y'all are familiar with that but it's different than regular messages like a text message we do our own thing through bubble I don't know how you start it okay don't ask <laughs> you can research it anyway uh, today is Thursday, December 17th, so I'm thinking since they took the video down on the 10th, today should be okay. Now, I had a couple other things in mind that I was going to share, but this tops them. <laughs> Maybe I'll do them later. Okay, I let me get started. This is so... Oh, it's going to give you goosebumps <laughs> or Holy Spirit bumps, whatever. It's called um, A Great Convergence of Events is Here. Prepare, prepare, Julie Wedby. All right, and posted by her on 12-17. Okay, so it was put up today. All right, A Great Convergence of Events is Here. Oh, she received it December 16th. That's really tiny writing there. Let me see if I can make, even with these new glasses, if this writing is real view, zoom in. Okay, that helped. Let me do it one more time. Okay, that's better. Okay, arise and awake, my beloved children of Zion. Your deliverer is here. Weep not, for I am the mighty lion of the tribe of Judah, king of all creation. I, Jehovah Sidkenu, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sid Kane you with a T in the front. I've heard of it before. Um, Sid Kane you. I have to look that up because I really don't know what it means. Unless following it, it says Lord of Righteousness. Jehovah Sid Kane you. Lord of Righteousness and Root of David have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Some, some people thought they were already open. I am the son of righteousness, and I come with healing in my wings and rescue for my weary ones and those who fear my name. Arise, arise, shout Hosanna to the King, Hosanna in the highest, for perfect peace is come to those who wait upon the Redeemer. Hallelujah. I will fill, I will fill, I will fill to overflowing all whose hearts are open to receive the outpouring of living water from my throne. No more will you cry for deliverance as your Messiah's time is come to draw to himself his beloved. <clears throat> come away with me, my beloved. Come away and enter into the bridal chamber where our hearts Become one in the perfect love of our Father Adonai. You will forever feed from my wellspring of life. No more mourning, no more sorrow, 
as your sorrow is turned to joy. I will take you under the shelter of my wing, set as a mother takes her children to her arms and cradles them against her heart. Great comfort and strength will be poured out upon you who have kept your eyes on me. You who trust me, you who obey my commandments, you who walk by faith and not by sight. A great convergent. Now remember, Jesus gave us two new commandments. To love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and with all thy strength. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's trying to be froggy. <clears> throat> Let's change that to horse. I don't like frogs anymore. Um... Oh, and to love your neighbor as yourself. All colors, all ages, all kinds. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you can't get along with someone, just nod, give a little smile, and go on. If they say something, just keep going. Keep the peace. And there's no point in laying your pearls before swine. You can't preach to some people. They don't want to hear it. All they want to do is argue. And that's not showing love either. Okay. But if you can help them, if they're down and out, then help them. We love the unlovable. Okay. No no more preaching. Let me get back to this. All right. Now, where was I? Oh, uh, great comfort and strength will be poured out upon you who have kept your eyes on me, you who trust me, you who obey my commandments, you who walk by faith and not by sight. A great convergence of events is here. What the world expects and what I am about to do are two entirely different perspectives the power and glory in which I will act on behalf of my love for my people will astound even the most distant of hearts. Truly, there has never been a time such as this, and there will never be again be such a convergence as what I am about to do. Prepare, prepare, Prepare for the great outpouring of the Deliverer who comes in great power and might to restore, to renew, and to regenerate. The world will see and the world will know that the great I Am lives. Praise the Lord. Each soul will be presented with truth so that a choice for life can be made in my infinite mercy I will pour out my love and grace as I wish that none would be lost doesn't sound like there's much room in there for them to lie and say aliens took us but never mind I don't want to add that you my remnant army will <laughs> calling us his army my remnant army will be a force and a power that no evil will be able to withstand. Through you, healing will pour forth and deliverance of those who are bound. Darkness will be pushed back. And many, many who saw all as lost will once again have hope. You cannot even imagine the glory released on the earth as I invade this realm and infuse my chosen ones. Light is come, my beloved. Light has prevailed over darkness. 
this festival of lights brings the father of lights to the hearts of his beloved chosen in a most profound way. Look up, my children, look up. Your redemption is here. Your transformation is soon to be complete. Now, here's one thing you need to know about the Festival of Lights. That's Hanukkah, okay? It's also known as the Feast of Dedication. According to the modern Jewish calendar, it's over, like tomorrow. Okay, will he go by that? And take us on the last day, which will be tonight, this afternoon. Or is he going to go by the Enoch calendar that, that's the right one, which starts, wait a minute, starts today, the 17th. I think the other one started the 10th and the real one starts the 17th. And the fourth day is the day, someone said, the fourth day of Hanukkah was significant as a high rapture watch day, let's see, 17th to 18th, 18th to 19th, 19th to the 20th, 20th to the 21st, 20th to the 21st is the fourth day. Today is the 17th and it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it's Monday. Monday into Tuesday. This doesn't have a full calendar, and I don't have one handy. Okay, at any rate, we're in a rapture watch time, and he, the Festival of Lights brings the Father of Lights to the hearts of his beloved chosen in a most profound way. That comes from the verse that says, Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of Lights. Y'all, we're almost out of here. Be ready. Anything you got to ask forgiveness for? Anybody you need to forgive? Search your souls and be ready. I pray you've been staying in the Word as much as possible. I do that when I'm in with Team Jesus. Like five nights a week, at least, I join them. And we get into scriptures just about every night. And that's the best way for me to learn it. Because I've got several people looking stuff up, putting in their two cents. And we all discuss it. And Kathy's looking up. She pulls up the Aramaic version, which I didn't even know you could find online. That's why that video that I emailed to a lot of you was so profound. Now, if there's anybody who did not get the email with a video I sent out from Grafted in Team Jesus called The God Gene, I can't share it on YouTube. It'll get pulled and they'll give me two weeks off. You let me know. My, I'll put my, my email address is Jeannie Hardesty, easy as can be, at gmail.com, all right? All small letters, Jeannie Hardesty at gmail.com. I will send you the link to that video, and if you didn't get to see the one that got pulled, that got me seven days off, I will send that one too. Just email me and say, Send me the videos, and I'll be happy to do it. Now, these are the scriptures that Julie pulled up that confirm the message. Ephesians 5, 14 through 16, King James Version. Wherefore he saith, Awake that thou sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then... That ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, 
but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right, 2 Timothy 1, 9. Who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. That's interesting. Which was given to us in Christ Jesus before the world began. He already had a plan and a purpose for those who would accept it, and he knew who would. Revelation 5.5 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Malachi 4.2 But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Grow up as calves of the stall. That must be an expression like, you'll be the king of the hill. Did you ever play that? If you had a hill in your neighborhood. And you tried to get to the top first. And you could pull somebody's foot down and make them roll down the hill. And you tried to be the top. Or you could just race. I can't remember how it went, but it seemed like I remember my brothers pulling each other down so they could scramble up first. The one who got to the top and stood up said, I'm the king of the hill. Maybe it was a northern thing. Anyway, maybe if you're the calf of the stall, it's like saying you're the king of the hill. Someone leave me a comment if you think it means anything else. Isaiah 26, 3. Thou, thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Proverbs 3, 10. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Joel 2:24. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. John 4.14 4, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Psalm 142. Oh, it's the whole thing. Oh, it's not that long. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed him, I'm sorry, I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. 
I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. <laughs> Sorry. He's so funny. Oh, bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about. Compass me about. The righteous will circle around me. For thou shalt deal bountifully with me. So there's a whole lot more. So I'm just going to stop it here because you can do your own research and go to this, the link. It's 444prophecynews.com. Okay, and then you scroll down. The, the very, right now, it's the very first one, Julie Wedby. Okay, so if you can't see the description box, you go to 444prophecynews.com. All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over the internet connection, over each and every one of us and our devices, and I say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.